New at 6, reaction to a lawsuit seeking to block the mask mandate in Duval County schools. I just wish we could unite as parents, you know, for the common good. We were the first to tell you about 18 parents suing the school board, saying the mandate violates their cost constitutional rights. On your sides, Ann Schindler is hearing from both sides tonight. She went to school the first day and came home, and she's well, my best friend's wearing a mask. And I said, okay, well, that's fine. I said, but we don't believe in that. Gregory Adame's mask opposition. She was vomiting. Starts with his daughter's heat exhaustion. I definitely don't want her being in a mask. But it also includes inconsistent messaging. Master effective. And then they say, well, masks are not effective. Then they say, well, you have to wear double masks. He doesn't believe ordinary masks are sufficient. If they were to come to us and say, look, everybody has to wear an N95. Okay, that makes more sense to me. He also sees a larger plan at work. I think the mask is just a stepping stone to vaccines. I don't know why we're still having this conversation. I don't know how it's become so politicized. Agata Gardner fought for the mask mandate. The analogy that I have come to use is like saying, you know, I'm going to cover my coughs and sneezes um, for you, and I'd appreciate you do the same for me. And them saying, oh, well, no, I'd rather not. I'm going to cough in your face. With a lawsuit now challenging that mandate, she says she's tired. It's exhausting for those of us who are sending our kids to school just praying that they're not going to be sat next to the unmasked kid who's going to bring COVID home. The mask mandate is set to begin on Tuesday in Duval County Schools. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side. No date has been set to hear the parents' emergency request for a hearing to block the mask mandate. School officials say they have no plan to change their policy.